Hi guys and welcome to 123 My IT. In this video, we will show you how to set up your iPhone as a Google phone. Okay guys, I'm an Android user and I wanted to see if I could convert myself to use an iPhone by creating a Google iPhone and replacing all the Apple apps with Google ones. This is what your iPhone will look like before and after you change it to a Google iPhone. You don't need to change all the apps, you could just change the apps you want. For example, one of the reasons I haven't switched to iPhone is I really like the Google Assistant. Later in this video, I will show you how to set up the Google Assistant with the tap back function. Let's get started. First of all, I would need to transfer the data from my old phone to my iPhone. I already have a video on how to do this, and if you're interested, I'll put a link in the description. Next, you will need to download the apps that you want to use from the Apple App Store. Because I use the Transfer iOS app, some of my free apps will download automatically. Once you have some apps downloaded, you can start organising them. You can replace Safari with Google Chrome, or, in my case, I prefer the DuckDuckGo browser, and I will show you why later in the video. You can also replace Apple Music with YouTube Music. To edit the home screen, you can tap and hold and then drag the icons to wherever you want them, or you can tap and hold the app and drag it. I haven't downloaded YouTube Music yet, so I will do that now. Just go back into the App Store and do a search for YouTube Music. Just tap Download, and once it's downloaded, drag it to wherever you want it. Cool, now you have the main bar down the bottom sorted. Open up your browser, so Chrome or DuckDuckGo, and set it as the default browser. The reason I use DuckDuckGo is because it's a private browser, so it doesn't track you, which is nice. In the top of the DuckDuckGo browser, tap the cog icon, and then tap Set as Default Browser. This will open any links in DuckDuckGo rather than Safari. I'll show you how to do this for Chrome browser as well. In the Chrome browser, tap the three dots and then tap Settings. Tap Default Browser, tap Open Chrome Settings, tap on Default Browser App and select Chrome. You can see the DuckDuckGo is selected and I'm going to leave it on that, but if you wanted to change it to Chrome, just select Chrome. You can replace FaceTime with Google Duo, so tap and hold the app to remove it, then go ahead and download Google Duo from the App Store. I've already got it downloaded, so I will move it to replace FaceTime. You can replace Apple Calendar with Google Calendar, and replace Photos with Google Photos. So just download them and drag them into place. Swap out Mail for Gmail. Gmail is probably a better app anyway. Delete Apple Maps for Google Maps. Google Maps is far better anyway. Download Google App and replace it with the Weather App and download Google Assistant to replace it with Siri. You can still use Siri, it's not actually gone. However, we will set up the Google Assistant with a tap back feature, which is just awesome. Okay, while that's downloading, let's change out the weather app. and you can move the Google Assistant to the main screen.
Download Google Keep and replace notes. Delete news and download Google News. Replace books with playbooks. Just go ahead and delete any apps you aren't using and just tidy up the home screen. Remember you can always download the app again if you need to. Alright, you can go ahead and swap play movies with Apple TV, which we deleted earlier. So just move it to the home screen. Another good one is Android TV. And you can replace the health app with Google Fit. Go ahead and you can drag them to the home screen. You can also swap Apple Home with Google Home. On the second screen, you can delete any apps that you are not going to use. You can replace files with Google Drive, delete iTunes Store, delete Translate, and delete Watch if you don't have an Apple Watch. Delete Tips and Utilities. Just make sure you keep shortcuts icon because we will use that for the Google Assistant. You can move your Google Drive to the top to make it neater and then go back to the App Store and download Google Docs, Sheets and Slides. Tap and hold and bring them to the top so it's neater. Go back to the App Store and download Gboard which is a Google keyboard. And download Wear OS which is an app for your Apple Watch. To set up Google Keyboard, go to Settings, General, Keyboards and tap Add a new keyboard. Select Gboard and then tap on Gboard and toggle the allow full access button on. Cool, you have just set up your Google keyboard. Let's set up your Google Assistant. Open up Google Assistant and log into it with your Google account. Just tap no thanks and continue to get it started. What's the weather like today? Today in St. Peter's DC, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecast high of 28 and a low of 20. Right now it's 28 degrees and partly cloudy. All right, it's working. Go back to the home screen and find the shortcuts icon and tap to open it up. Tap the plus icon and tap add action. You should see Hey Google down the bottom. Tap that and then tap the next button at the top. Type in the name for the action. I just type Google Assistant. This will help you identify the shortcut when you add it to the tap back action. Cool, you have a shortcut now for the Hey Google command. Let's add it to the tap back section. Go into settings, accessibility and touch. 
and scroll down to the bottom to where it says back tap. If you double or triple tap the back of your iPhone, it can do an extra command. Go into double tap and scroll down to the bottom. Under shortcuts, you will see the Google Assistant shortcut that we created earlier. Select that and watch the magic. If you double tap the back of your iPhone, the Google Assistant starts up. What's the weather like today? In St. Peter's DC today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecast high of 28 and a low of 20. Guys, don't forget to check out my other videos such as set up your iPhone or iPad in 2021. Also, do me a favor, if you know anyone who might like this video, please share it with them. Hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon.